The Environment Agency is changing the ways in which data is received from suppliers, accessed and stored. This video is part of a series to take you through the journey to being net zero carbon and how you can contribute to this target when preparing your business case for a capital project. The platform transforms existing data quality standards and other business rules into machine-readable code which can check if requirements are met by suppliers of data and information before directly updating our asset management systems. Ames DRV will deliver dashboards to provide quick and easy access to key performance information. In the past, data from our external partners was provided scattered in multiple files and unstructured, which required locating and entering manually. In the future, data will no longer be stuck in files produced by our suppliers, leaving it difficult and costly to retrieve. The time needed to add new data to asset management systems will be reduced, keeping asset management databases up to date and reliable. The new data repository digitally captures data as it's provided by suppliers. Data stored in one place is immediately more usable and accessible to other asset management systems. Ames DRV is leading the way across the industry by capturing standardized geospatial data produced by suppliers' processes and systems. The new technology will automatically check all the data received from delivery partners is complete and to our standards. If key information is missing or incorrect, it will be returned to our partners to complete. Over time, data held in the asset management systems will become more comprehensive and be reliable, a vital step in supporting asset management decision-making and building digital capability. This will bring a range of benefits, including reducing reputational risk when the latest data is not available to inform flood warnings or accessible to businesses to adjust house insurance premiums when new or improved assets reduce flood risk. Once all the required data from a new source is accepted, it will be stored ahead of updating the appropriate asset management systems. Staff will no longer need to spend time locating, assuring and entering data, freeing up their time for other tasks. Having one place to check and store data will remove the need for entering data into systems that rely on project or asset data. All data we receive on asset projects and designs will be checked automatically against the Environment Agency's business, data and engineering standards and rules. This will ensure that any Environment Agency assets are built consistently and meet performance and safety requirements. It will give the capital delivery and operations teams more opportunity to spot and rectify issues as and when they arise. It makes sure that Environment Agency design, operation and maintenance approaches are checked and deviations flagged to senior users for action to improve consistency and repeatability. All deviations will be logged to form a basis for review of engineering, data and business standards. Once the data is checked and assured, it will also be visualised on dashboards for project teams and stakeholders to understand planned works and track progress against plans and KPIs. The new technology will allow team members to open and interrogate 3D models through web-based software, removing the need for high-spec PCs and reducing reliance on local software. Capturing data about our assets and associated documents will enable team members to access files through the use of GIS tools. This will include access to new data for example, assets under construction. It is also the beginning of delivering the Environment Agency digital twin. Dashboards will provide project managers with insight into project activity, making it easier to manage programme and project delivery. This will also reduce the associated time and costs with more physical methods in audit and assurance. All of this means that AIMS DRV is bridging the data gap between the design and build of assets and the operation and maintenance of them. With the creation of a data repository, 
we are helping to make the data on Environment Agency projects and assets more reliable, easier to find and quicker to use, no matter where you are.